everybody, this is Nikki Gordon Bloomfield here from Transport Evolved. Happy Tuesday, I hope that you are well. As you can see, I'm not making a thought of the day video today. I'm giving you a staff car update because we've just had a staff car update story worthy of sharing here on Transport Evolved. And I know that from some of you who watched yesterday, you're fed up with the thoughts of the day. So fair enough, I'll give it a little bit of a break. And I, yes, I'm cold, I'm shaking. So I'm going to switch the camera around and show you why we're down in the Transport Evolved garage. Yes, yes, as you can see, this is our 2013 Nissan Leaf. This is our plugless power wireless inductive charging system, which we have still been testing. Um, for those who haven't seen it before, it basically allows the car to charge wirelessly. And I'll show you around the back here. It charges using that little thing there on the floor. Um, and it's quite convenient because when you get in the car and you turn it on, you don't have to worry about unplugging it. And literally all you have to do is you climb in behind the seat, you put your foot on the brake and you wait for the lights to go out. And you wait for that little click and then you turn it on. As you can see, this is our... Nissan Leaf. We've got uh, 84 miles on the gasometer. We've got about another hour uh, or so on the charging there, which um, is a bit of a shame because I need a full battery later on. Um, this wireless inductive charging system is only three kilowatts as opposed to the new systems, which are six, but fair enough. Um, but the reason I'm sitting in the car right now is because we just had the telematics upgrade for our 2013 Nissan Leaf. This makes it possible for car wings to work to update your stations and also do things Connect like to information center. also do things like remotely check on the status of uh, your charging etc etc but as you're about to see despite paying two hundred dollars to get this put in the car today two hundred dollar upgrade for it which i think is ridiculous we get the connection to the center failing and they're the reason behind this said said the nissan garage is because uh nissan has a computer database that ties the telematics system to a particular cell phone number and to a particular uh, VIN number on their mainframe computer system. And at the moment, Nissan's technical center, uh, their computer system thinks that this car still has the old modem in it. And they said it takes about 48 hours after you've installed the thing for Nissan's uh, technical system to catch up so for the next two or three days despite it saying the symbol here says we've got cell phone um coverage we won't actually be able to connect to the car wings system which is frustrating really um it also means that we can't do anything like this can't look for coffee for example it will come back as a, I can't find what's going on, which is a bit of a shame. But we've also had the recall done here. This is the uh, new, um, so you see the connection to the center failed. Thanks, Nissan. Um, you also see here that we've just had the recall done on the airbag. There was a problem with the airbag sensor and they left this in the car. Please print this page and place a copy in the vehicle. Recall campaign, campaign even, R1609 changes the operation of the passenger airbag status light and um, it says the passenger airbag status light will now be on illuminated when the front passenger seat is empty um this comes on it goes off if someone sits in the seat who is heavier than a certain amount and i don't think i can actually trigger the seat without actually getting over there myself um previously the weight sensor in the seat was not detecting the weight of the occupant properly which meant if a child sat in the front of the vehicle it might have not operated the airbag properly so that's what was actually been fixed i don't think it's got anything to do with the light but anyway that has been fixed so that was free because that was under recall this is not free which i'll admit makes me kind of cross and frustrated um because i'd like the, the update to be free thank you very much because i've paid you know, we paid for this car. This car is coming into its fourth year and really a four-year-old car shouldn't shouldn't need a telematics upgrade 
Um, this is all because when Nissan first um, brought the Leaf to market, they decided to use a 2G network connection rather than a 3G network connection. Even though 2G was on its way out in you know 2011 when the Leaf really started, well 2010, 2011, uh, this car was made in 2013, by which point 3G really was the standard. 2G was no longer around, yet Nissan decided to keep 2G um, in all up to the 2015s. Now, if you have a 2015 Leaf, the recall is done free of charge. If you've got a 2014 or older, this is a 2013, you're on your own. So I decided to have this upgrade done partly so I could blog about it and write about it here at Transport Evolved, but additionally because I wanted to um uh to be able to use the poi system but also the feature i like most of this which is you can send um you can obviously do all of the 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 information regarding to charging and you can turn on the climate control remotely which is useful if you're stuck in a cold place which the whole of portland right now is but it's also really useful because you can do the information feeds and you can do the google maps and you can do the send to car which means i can send myself a route from my car to here um which i do use on a regular basis now as i'm in the car would you like a demonstration of the plugless power system of course you would let's do that next so as you'll see i'm just pulling into my parking space here that thing there is the wireless inductive charging pad that sits on the floor um, this is only a temporary installation the lights here guide me in and tell me if I'm in the right place or not. And as you get closer, they slow down. And when they stop, you get numbers that tell you how close you are. I can't read those because I'm really short-sighted and I have trouble with red, red, uh, red lights. And that's one of the criticisms I would have of this system is that I can't read the numbers despite having uh, my eyesight uh, you know tested and approved by opticians so you just leave your car like this foot off the brake everything else whoops that was very embarrassing you press the power off and wait a few seconds and then the car starts charging that's all you need to do so that really is it for today uh, and the transport evolved video i'm not going to call it a thought of the day because it's not a thought of the day I hope you've enjoyed it. I will try and do some more videos like this. If you like it, tell me. If you'd rather I did these than, um, than the thoughts of the day, let me know. Maybe I should do a bit, of, a bit of everything. But until tomorrow, have a great day. If you're part of the snowstorm that's coming to the West Coast, I hope you stay safe and stay warm. If, uh, if I'm around tomorrow, maybe I'll do a video about driving an EV in the snow. Until then, have a great rest of the day and keep evolving.